Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more videos here, and this time we've got a our first tuning video on uh, Forza 6 here, and this is going to be what I think is one of the best D-Class cars um, that I've worked with so far, and it's the uh, Dodge Charger Daytona. This thing's fast, it handles well, it's not particularly hard to tune. Um, it, I got it all set up kind of all classic, like stock wheels, you know, no no aero, no anything like that. We're just on our warm-up lap here. This is our first lap, so just trying to get the tires warm. And then we'll see if we can set a little lap time um, in the second one. Just to give you guys a bit of a preview of what the car can do. It's also great. I've, I've ran it a couple times in multiplayer. It's very good. is a good car to drive you're gonna get just a touch of oversteer out of it um, you know intentionally I'd rather have a little bit of oversteer than understeer so it's slightly oversteer tuning you'll see that when we get into the tune itself can get on that turn a little bit a little bit more than I just did there that's a turn right there that I struggle with for whatever reason so all right here we go See if we can beat the rival here. Well, that's not going to work. Hang on. We're just going to rewind it up here. I want to see what happened there because that was a little weird. I felt like that turn was going pretty well there. And I'm not really sure what happened in the middle of it. So let's get a little rewind in here. That's all right. Nothing hurt. Obviously, dirty our laps dirty anyway. A little better, not great. I was super careful on that. Let off just a touch, kind of to let it tuck down in here. If you do this one right, you won't have to let off at all. You could probably do that first one without letting off. You get get your turn in point right. Tuck in, there you go. Ah, still not very good. Let's see him come out and get out there in front of me. What is that? Is that the Corvette, I think? The old uh, convertible. A little bit oversteer there, I gotta get used to. Get out of this better, get a better run out on this first one, see if we can't do this a little bit better in the next one. I don't know that I did or not. Ah, not the best turn. Hit that better, we can just stay on the gas the whole way through it this time. Let off just a touch because I might have clipped that wall if I didn't do that. I'm actually on a little slower pace than that last lap. Going to have to drive the second part of this a heck of a lot better. Eh, it's close. I did not hit this turn real well. I've hit that turn better before too, but that's all right. We're hanging right. Th we're right there with him. Should be good. He's got me beating the turns a little bit. A little lighter car. Right back on it right there. A little squirrely there. Get him. And we got him. Hey. 
All right, so there's a little preview of the car right there, and uh, let's uh, let's finish out the race here, and then let's go take a look at our build and our tune. Give you guys a preview of the parts. I'm gonna show you guys what time that was. Not that this is a big deal this early in the race, though. So let me let's get through this here. Hey, we get a spin. Oh, let's get that. Let's get that million credits. I'd take a 190e also. Million. What do we get? I got a ton of those things. Twenty-five thousand credit pack. So that's fine. All right, all right. So let's take a look at our leaderboard. And oh, look at that. Let me hit the sort button though. Second place. Oh no, I forgot to hit the sort. I would have had that guy in there. Ah, so we got the new number two time out there. Um, <laughs> oh, and he's using a Corvette. He has that 53 Corvette also. I'm going to have to get one of those. That seems pretty good. Look for one of those tunes coming in the future. Um, no big deal, though. There are not that many people that have raced. But, you know, a nice little number two. I thought I had a number one time. For whatever reason, when you come in there, it, it doesn't show everybody. So you got to hit the X to sort to see everybody. Um, but we're right there. There's only been like 300 people put times on the leaderboard. But we're number two out of those 305 people. So, anyway, let's go uh, take a look at our build and our time or building our time which you saw the time our building our tune here let's hop over here gonna have a few tunes coming out here it's kind of starting in d class because and the reason for that is right now if you're playing the game in multiplayer you can really only race in d and in a so i've been kind of focusing my time uh, in those spots let's get back out of rivals here and let's go over to tune and let's go to the upgrade shop and let's take a look at the build first so let's move over here where we always start in the conversion area and we do not have a, any conversions in here there's not a whole lot you can do with the car i think it starts at like 378 so there's not like there's a ton you can do with it so we got nothing in here so that's all stock we also have nothing in here um you can only take this wing off um, and there is no Forza wing for this. I also did not do any bumper or anything there. So this is you're going to find this is really stock. Also, nothing in here at all. No tires, no wheels. We're using the stock wheels. Um, stock width, stock compound, everything. So save your time. Don't need to do anything in there. Uh, in here, we just got a couple of things. We got the uh, we got the transmission. That's a big deal. You go from four five to six four. You get an extra gear. By default, this has a four speed transmission, and you will top out. And you will go over the four hundred if you try to get uh, the adjustable version of this transmission. So you want the street transmission on there. Uh, we're also going to have the drive line. We're able to get a little bit of free weight there. You see, if you come down three nine nine four one. So uh, at the end of every build, you want to make sure you check to see if you can get that. And then the next thing we got is the uh, race differential in there. Got to always put that on there so you have your adjustable differential. Uh, and our platform and handling, we're going to have full race brakes. We're going to have race springs. This is pretty much going to be the same on every car. Uh, race anti-roll bar, both front and rear. Uh, we're going to have no uh, chassis. And we're going to have just a little bit of weight reduction. This was just to get that extra power. Could have done. So there was two ways you could have went with this. I could have went with the, uh, you know, with a little bit of horsepower. Or I could have done the weight reduction. I chose the weight reduction. I think it's important on this. It gives you just a little bit of acceleration and also makes it just a little easier to tune. And then we have no engine parts at all. There's nothing in here. So uh, don't even need to go look. I mean, we're not going to go through them all. But so like I said, you could you could have got an extra eight, nine horsepower out of this, but it have been 100 pounds heavier. I think the, the weight on that is worth it versus the horsepower. But if you want to play around with that, uh, you could certainly do that and and go for that. So that is the build. That's all our, our parts. Let's go in here and take a look at our tune. Uh, tires, 28 and a half, 28 and a half, kind of just where I start at. Really haven't really found a need to, to, to change or tune those a whole lot. I uh, cannot change the, this is not an adjustable transmission. So that is what it is. Uh, we ended up at negative 3.6 and negative 3.1 on the camber. Zero, zero toe, and I did bump that up to six on our caster angle. Uh, next thing, fairly stiff. Uh, the car's kind of soft and kind of floaty, so I did leave the, the at least the roll bars to keep it tightened up uh, pretty stiff here at 23 and 27. This is where you'll see things over uh, oversteer turn just a little bit. If you're having a problem, like you saw when I went into that one turn, if you're having a problem getting into a turn, throwing the car into a turn, and you're losing the back end, you can come in here and decrease your rear anti-roll so if it's if it's a little skittish coming in there 
drop that down to around maybe 20 or 21, somewhere in there and see if that helps you out a little bit. Uh, but I did want the oversteer in there uh, to get it around the turns, but you did see on that one turn, I did get a little, a uh, little loose in there. So uh, it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, again, 596 and 664, uh, and our ride height reduced just a little bit. Maybe you could go a little bit lower even at 77 and 77. Again, a little bit oversteer tuned. You're gonna see the same thing here. 88 and 10 0. That's so we can get some turn in. Uh, 1 8 and 2 5 on the bump stiffness. Uh, the only arrow that does not have a front adjustable, the rear is adjustable. So that wing that you come on there, it is adjustable. And even taking it all the way out still gives you 400 pounds. And I think that's what really helps make this to be a really good car in Class D is it's got a lot of downforce on that rear end. So that's cool. 48% uh, on the brake balance. You're going to see that a lot. And 150 for the pressure. You'll want to adjust that to your liking. I was doing 200% before, but I found 150 for me to work a little bit better in this game. And then we are at 40 and 8. So if you find yourself uh, 40 acceleration and 8% deceleration, if you find yourself um, when you get on the throttle, spinning the wheels coming out of a turn, that you can adjust your uh, acceleration differential and drop that down to like 25 or 30 and that should help with that so that's all of our parts that's all of our tune this is our first car out there i would definitely go get this car it's a beast it's fun to drive it's fast i've tuned like three different muscle cars and it's easily the best one of the three i've done and i've seen some people out there using it uh, seen it pop up on those leaderboards so uh yeah that's our bit our race our build and our tune and i'm going to end it with that thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one later